Hello everyone, welcome to my other video. In this video, I am going to show you how to implement Google OAuth using React. So let's get started. So at first open your terminal and write npx space create dash react dash app and then your app name. I am giving my app name as google dash oauth and it will create one react project inside the directory. So after completing write cd space your app name to enter into that directory and then write code space dot to open vs code into the same directory. Alright. Now open your terminal by pressing Ctrl J for Windows and Command J for Mac. So write npm space install space react dash google dash login. And here I am going to use one third party library to implement google OAuth system. So it will take some time. Ok so after completion you have to go inside your ssc directory and you have to open app.js file and you can see these things are there so you have to delete these all things because i'm going to convert it into a classful component so i'm using i'm using some shortcuts here to convert to classful component here so after converting into classful component i have to import one library that i have just installed right now that is uh, google login so write import google login from react dash google dash login and uh, inside uh, your render method you have to return that component so write google login and here it will take some props so at first it will take uh, client id so i will give the client id later then write button text and here uh, i have written login because it will show login there inside the window and then uh, write on success and here i am writing this dot response google so because uh, i will uh, create one method response google and it will just uh, console log me the responses then uh, same for the on failure now write cookie policy and here just write single host origin okay okay now save it and uh, okay just have to declare that method so write uh, response google and it will take one parameter and that is a response and I'm going to console log this response and again I'm going to console log the profile uh, object so write console.log again and uh, here just write response dot profile obj and it will basically uh, console log all the profile details that is image url profile name profile uh, email id and all okay now save it and now here uh, need to give that client id now go to uh, browser and open this link and here you can see the existing projects are there now you have to create one new project so just keep your project name here and you may skip that uh, organization part because uh, it is optional here so after uh, entering a project name just click on this button okay now you can see that uh, your project is being created so just wait for a second okay now it is completed now switch to your project so click on that and choose your project name and switch to your own project and you have to go inside credential uh, tab here so click on credential tab okay so uh, before uh, 
they give any API to you you have to configure uh, their website first so just uh, choose external here and click on this button and now they will ask for some module name or project name where you want to use their services so right here google dash auth so and here you have to write for the address where you, are, uh, you have to use their service so you may skip this part for now okay so uh, it doesn't take any name that is related to their services so you have to change your module name so i'm changing my module name to this uh, now click on this button again okay now uh, i think it's done now go back to credential tab again and here uh, you can see uh, you can create one auth api id so click on that and as you are using uh, uh, in website just choose web application and here you need to give your address where you are going to use their services so uh, as uh, i will run my react inside 3000 port so i'm just writing that and then you can see that the keys are generated okay now copy that key and go back to your code editor and paste it here okay now save it and again you have to open terminal and write npm space start to start react server okay now you can see at 3000 port the react server is going on now we have to click here and they will ask from uh, for two urls one url is for uh, the url where you are going to use their service and the other is uh, the url they will redirect so i'm just keeping the both the same now save it and go to localhost at 3000 port and you can see google button is there now i'm just uh, opening console to check if it is working correctly or not now click on this google button and you can see that google sign is page is there so just sign in using any of your email id just click next and here you can see that all the response object has been printed first and then the profile object has been printed so that's it for today hope you have enjoyed this video please click on the subscribe and like button if you like this video thank you